Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here and Sarah Tyndall and today we are going to do a rat care sheet and I'm going to talk to you about how I keep my rats and I'm going to read a little bit of a care sheet from Debbie the rat lady Duco Munnun or Mun or however you say that but uh Sarah's going to show you all what we got we have these containers that we keep ours in with uh that I got from yeah. a buddy of mine that died Gary Markley and uh um that's how uh that they, they are i have in mine two females and babies in every container except this one is uh a gerbil or a hamster, hamster i mean I'm sorry okay so here is uh this mother and all her babies and she's fostering some other babies in here as y'all can see um and then this one is the male going to breed breed her and this is the first rat we ever had with her babies so um, make sure you get some good pictures of them you can open some of the cages a bit um, if you like so you can see up close hold it up and let them see and I'll read you about the rat fan club all right baby baby babies pet rats are domesticated animals and as different from wild rats as dogs are from wolves they are very clean and rarely bite like other rodents rats are easy to care for but they offer so much more. Rats are smart enough to learn their names and come when you call them. They are social, affectionate animals who form strong bonds with their owners. They beg to come out of their cage and play or be petted. They are smart enough to play interactive games with people like tug of war, hide and seek, and wrestling. And they can learn tricks. Many rats show affection by licking their owner like a dog. A well socialized baby rat will climb eagerly on your hand and maybe perch on your shoulder. Both females and males make good pets. Female rats tend to be smaller and more active than males running around. Did you stop recording? No, I'm still. Shit, I lost my voice. More active than males running around and stealing paper to build nests. Open up another show too. Males tend to make better lap pets. Don't hold your hand by the button. I don't want it to turn off. A rat cage should be at least 12 inches by 24 inches by 12 inches, and even bigger is better to allow room for scampering and toys. Wire floors are not recommended because they can give rats sores on their heels, and rats can get their feet caught in some wire and break a leg, especially in one inch by one half inch mesh. Rats must be kept in a room at room temperature below 90 degrees and they require complete darkness at night. It's important to keep the cage clean since the ammonia formed from urine aggravates respiratory disease, the leading cause of death in rats. Avoid pine and cedar shavings as they contain acids that damage the respiratory tracts and toxins that damage the liver. There are many good alternatives including aspen shavings, recycled newspaper pellets, and even rabbit food alfalfa pellets can be used as bedding. That's not a bad idea. I got mine on pine, but it's used for rats. It says on the package, lab uh, lab quality. And that don't make it right. It's just the way I do it. All right, housing. All right, that was housing. Food and water. A bulk grain mix does not meet the nutritional needs of rats. Food blocks or nuggets made specifically for rats are best. If fortified, here's some bigger ones. If fortified, if a fortified grain mix is fed, you must make sure your rats eat the vitamin mineral nuggets in the mix. About 20% of their diet should be a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables such as broccoli, kale, cooked sweet potato, and cooked beans. Fluoride is toxic to rats, so if your water is fluoride, fluoridated, you must give your rats bottled water. Chlorinated water is also not good. I, Edward Tendall, feeds his rats water out of my well, which is high in iron, but it's okay. Accessories. Rats need a water bottle, a food dish for fresh foods, and we recommend a hanging dispenser for dry foods. Many rats will use a litter box if it is placed in the corner they choose for a toilet. A concrete block, bird, uh, pedicure perch, or similar toys in the cage will help keep their toenails short. Rats also need sleeping quarters and enjoy boxes, igloos, and super pet giant roll a nest in hammocks. While most rats will chew on a hammock and eventually destroy it, this 
rarely causes them any harm. Toys. Because rats are intelligent, active animals, toys are not optional. They are necessities. Rats enjoy exercising wheels, to, uh, tubes, ladders, branches, and other climbing toys. Wheels must be at least 10 inches across and made of solid plastic or metal or one quarter inch wire mesh, not wire bars. We recommend that the Wodent wheel from www.transonk.com. Rats also enjoy food, toys, and many bird toys that work well for rats. Handling. Never pick up a rat by the tail. A rat's tail is delicate and the skin at the end of the tail can actually come off. The best way to pick up your rat is to scoop him up with both hands. Or you can grasp him around the shoulders and middle. Then put your other hand beneath the rat's hind quarters and bring him close to your body so he'll feel more secure and less likely to squirm or try to jump out of your hands. Many rats will enjoy riding on your shoulder. Clothing such as the snuggle scarf sold by the Rat Fan Club will protect your skin from the rat's sharp toenails. I do pick up my rats by the tail, but when I do so, I reach in and I grab them by the base of their tail so you don't hold it. If you hold it down here, that can break off and it'll just be a bone sticking out of there. Training. Rats are smart enough to learn simple commands and perform many tricks. You teach a rat the same way to te you teach a dog. By showing a rat what you want him to do and then giving him a treat. You'll find instructions for teaching some tricks to rats in the care book, Rats, written by Debbie, the Rat Lady, Dukoman. Dukoman. I hope I'm saying her name right. Sold by the Rat Fan Club. Possible problems. All right, people. Possible problems your rats might have. Being rodents, rats have a tendency to chew. The solution is to rat-proof the area where they're allowed to play, removing valuables and electrical wires. Some rats also have a tendency to urine mark, leaving small drops of urine, urine as they walk. Males are more prone to this, although neutering will reduce the behavior. Furnishings can be protected with a throw cover. It's just some of the babies. Throw cover. Rats can breed as early as five weeks of age, and any female rat older than this who has been living with the male will probably be pregnant. A rat can also get pregnant again immediately after giving birth. So, when breeding, the father should be removed before the birth, unless you're trying to massively produce them for snake food. <coughs> like, unfortunately, I do. Not that I don't love rats and enjoy them and give them an awesome life and lots of love and affection. I spend time with every rat I got, and some of them I uh, favor and I never feed off. Um, rats, okay, here's common health problems. Rats live only two to three years on average. Although proper nutrition, exercise, and veterinary care can maximize their lifespan, the most common health problems in rats are respiratory and heart disease. Avoid choosing a rat who sneezes or makes noise when breathing. If your rat has these symptoms, consult an expert for advice. The Rat Fan Club sells a booklet called Rat Health Care that can help you identify and treat uh, mammary and pituitary tumors are the next most common health problems in female rats. Having females spayed helps to prevent these tumors. Um, benign mammary tumors can be removed with minor surgery and cancerous mammary tumors can be treated with unspayed females with tamoxifen. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing all this right or not, but uh, if you feed your rats, this is not on her care sheet, this is just me. If you raise quail and you feed your rats quail eggs, boiled quail eggs, it will stop tumors from ever forming. And don't feed them red 40 that you find on some dog foods. That comes from Edward Tindall. Tumors are less common in male rats. Spaying generally costs $65 to $120 and neutering $45 to $100. Veterinary pet insurance at www.petinsurance.com now offers health insurance policies for rats. That is freaking ridiculous. You hear that? Sign your rat up before she gets sick because the policy does not cover pre-existing conditions. It also does not cover routine spaying and neutering. The cost is $9 a month or $84 a year. The yearly plan is saves $24. And a supplies checklist I'm going to give y'all real quick is uh, 
You're going to need a large gauge, bedding and or litter, bed and or house, water bottle, dry food dispenser, moist food dish, rat food, treats for training, exercise wheel, activity toys, chew toys, litter box is optional. Now for, that is, uh, that's the rat, rat lady, y'all can check her out if y'all are doing rats for pets. If you're doing rats for feeding, like I do, where of course my rats are also my pets, um, I got water bottles, I got these hoppers set up in here, and these rats are awesome, absolutely awesome creatures. Hold this for me for a minute. I handle my rats. When I go to grab my rats, I grab by the base of their tail, and I'll support their upper body, like so. See that? This is a big male that I have right here, and he's red, and I'll keep him. This is a pet we're not going to be feeding off until he dies of natural causes, and then I'm not going to waste him like the squirrel that so many people want to cry about. I do not waste food because if a rat dies or a squirrel dies or something, I'm going to feed it off to my snake to keep from killing another rat, if that makes sense. So I hope y'all enjoyed this rat care sheet. I do love rats. I love all animals. I love them dearly. Just some people, some rats, I, or some pets I feed to my other pets. It's just a way of life, people. If y'all don't like it, y'all don't have to watch this kind of channel. But I'm going to continue to try to bring care sheets to you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. Look at these beautiful babies right here. These are not food, any of these in this container. Actually, I wanted to show that. Move this thing. I wanted to show this specifically. A line that I'm working on. You don't see very many albinos that are any other color than white. This is kind of an off-white with red eyes as you can see and this one is even one stage closer or more than that as he is two-toned see the two-tone with that beautiful red eye this is a two-toned albino rat I personally have never seen any of them before in my life I am the first one that produce them as far as I know um, and then we have these blue head mohawks or sperm head I like to call it because it looks like a little white tadpole um, that one blonde yeah, that one's already uh, spoken for, and this one's also spoken for. Um, but they're cool, and I want to breed the hell out of them. And I got these calicos. That's a cool uh, rat, too. You see how they're not biting or anything? They're very awesome. I keep these pine chips. I keep them clean and nice. I change out those pens daily. You don't have to change them out daily, but I do. Or every two to three days when I don't have a lot of babies. Um, depending on if I, if I can smell anything... They're getting cleaned out because I don't want my rats to catch a respiratory prob problem or anything like that. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. We also leave the babies in there for about two weeks and then they come out like I was I don't know if it's exactly two weeks. It's whenever they open their eyes and they start to eat, they go into a bigger cage where they can grow out for food or selective breeding which i'm doing eyes are open eyes are open so after and they this they are two weeks old so they're going to be starting yeah. to eat yeah these will be uh eating on their own soon and then they'll go in a big 30 or 40 gallon uh, grow out cage where they got toys and stuff and branches to climb on and everything so they have a good life and they're going to get fed the best food i feed them air and pollings dubia roaches that are gut loaded before i feed them to my snakes and i feed them fresh vegetables and fruits um cauliflower broccoli uh, freddie's little cubes that she makes for the sugar glider we did a sugar glider care sheet right uh, yes uh we make these uh, y'all can get the recipe for freddie's uh thing if you have pet rats and you want to really uh give them an awesome uh, thing they go in the freezer and the rats eat the holy shit out of them they love them and they you can see they got all kinds of stuff in here just put it on top of there like that and here, let me see. Put it down here like that. Look, you see how they go to it? Yeah. Like like flies going to shit. You see that? These little Halloween uh, spider things. Check it out. They love it frozen. They, uh, so my pets get very well taken care of. For all the people who think Edward Dendle kills everything that he touches, that's not necessarily true. All of these rats that you see, and there's hundreds of them here, all of these I've created from two rats that I bought. So... Since I created this life, and I've maintained this life of these rats in a controlled lab-type environment, I feed them out of here, or I sell them as pets to some people. But it would not be feasible or right, and it would hurt 
the environment if somebody was to raise rats like this and just let them go I don't do that and I don't recommend people do that if you breed rats make sure you use them for um, feeders for your snakes or other animals that eat them and, uh, hey, and uh, if you want them for pets just don't breed them you can get a male or a female and they're awesome they are awesome pets I absolutely love them give him one this is a hamster we'll do a hamster care sheet for y'all later I hope y'all enjoyed peace love happiness like subscribe tell your friends watch my older videos while you wait for new videos and um I pretty much wrapped it all up right hope you guys enjoy we'll have more care sheets up to come yep soon peace and love